Do you, you need a brain to have consciousness? Well, this, this, is, this, this is one of the questions, you know. I mean, <laughs> is consciousness restricted to the, we got consensus right. on, you know, the biological, on, mm -hmm. on animals. But in fact, um, you mentioned John Griffin. His brother, David Griffin, is a philosopher who's come out in favor, in favor of panpsychism, the view that everything has a mind. There's some element of consciousness at the very bottom level of the, uh, of the, the natural order, including ha Dave, have, haven't you, I just want to follow yeah. up on this, yeah. haven't you come out with something similar? Have, we, we have talked <laughs> about this. I have some, I you, do, I you do. have suggested that maybe, that consciousness cannot be reduced to physics, that in fact consciousness may be a property of nature in itself. I do think that con consciousness may be, we have things in science like space and time and mass that cannot be explained in terms of things, cannot be fully explained in terms of things simpler than themselves. That's not unscientific, that's just something we're used to in, the, in physics. We're used to outside physics explaining things in terms of things simpler than themselves, but this is a strategy to, that doesn't seem to work well for consciousness. So I've at least been led to speculate that we should take seriously the idea that consciousness is fundamental. Once you do that, I and mean, there's two, two different steps in the, uh, in the argument, once you've done that, it's also natural to speculate, and it is just speculation, that consciousness may be present at a very fundamental level of the physical natural order, and that, for example, and that you know, David Griffin may be correct, and that consciousness is to be found, some element of consciousness is to be found in fundamental particles. I don't know if huh? this is right. What, what, what is that, then? If, you know, I mean, what, what is it made of? Some something? people prefer to say proto-consciousness, you know, some precursor. <laughs> the the, uh, the, the panpsychists tend to say some precursor to, uh, to consciousness. And we don't understand it, but we don't understand the nature of matter. We don't understand consciousness. So it's a, when it comes to consciousness, we're in the, uh, we're in the dark. And, uh, and for a philosopher, you know, we speculate for a living. And we just try to say, what kind of picture of the natural order can okay, make sense of this? Danny, you're shaking yeah. your head. I, yeah. yeah, I don't want to spoil the fun. But, <laughs> but earlier, I think we were agreeing that what we have are intuitions about consciousness. And yeah. what, when we start and, and talk about consciousness as a noun, yeah. rather than about our intuitions about consciousness, there is virtually no limit to what we could argue, because we actually don't know. Right. All we have are un, our intuitions about mm -hmm. consciousness. So the, the legitimacy of that question is something that I would like to question. Right. Well, it, that it, is, yeah. you know, if we don't know what it is, if all we have are our intuitions, then ultimately all we can do is study the psychology of these intuitions. Mm -hmm. And that is a very different thing than studying the ontology of consciousness itself. 